Hi there, Linda Artisani, Artisani Bookkeeping. So today is St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day. I wore my green, and it's actually kind of relevant for my blog today. I love lawyers, and this t-shirt came from Lean Law, um, my uh, app that I use for working with attorneys, which is gonna segue me right into my workflow. So let me share my screen so you can see my workflow, and then I'll take you through the steps. So here's my workflow. Um, it's pretty basic. It's actually slimmed down a bit. So in the past, I used to use I used Asana, I used Active Collab, and I was using um, Sharefile and Slack. So those were all, all the apps that I have that I've now rolled into one app, which is Lysio. So Lysio is going to be my communication tool. It's going to be my task delegating tool for my staff. Um, it's going to be really nice. It's a real quiet space for you to use communication with your client and store all the files together. So it's kind of an all-in-one. It's kind of like having your little file drawer, right? And put everything in one spot. So um, I love the term, and we just did a, a work, we just did a webinar with them uh, Friday, and I'll put a link in my post for that as well, because the key with Lysio is it's a highly secure place to communicate with your clients. So you'll never have spam, and you'll also have a place where you can keep files safe, um, which is really important in this day and age. Uh, that's why I paid extra money for Sharefile was because I've always, and I've had it for years, because it, it was a way for me to keep my um, communication with my clients, have them secure documents, right? With being an accountant, you have a lot of secure documents that you exchange with your client, and this is going to be a place for that. Um, also, the other part of my workflow is here's my law firm. This is my client, and they're going to be putting their – um, billing information. They're going to be billing their clients so their customers will live in lean law and they will keep their track of their matters, keep track of any monies that, um, you know, anything they need to charge the client or billable expenses, their time when they're doing their billable time if they have billable time in their firm. So that'll be done in that, in that app. They'll upload those billable expenses to HubDoc. So HubDoc is my document exchange uh, place. It also brings in my bank statements and credit card statements. So it's a great place. In HubDoc, I'll code and then mat and put the matter on the bills. And if they're billable, I put them in the advanced client cost asset account. And then well, that will automatically push into QuickBooks. The best part about that is when it's in QuickBooks, we have a two-way sync with Lean Law, and then it will actually sync back up to Lean Law. This bill that I've entered will sync back up to Lean Law so that when the billing time comes once a month to bill the prior month to the client, it's going to see that bill and all the details on it, and it will be there for a, a draft bill, which I can produce for the client, or that they can actually create themselves, see what the bill's going to be like before they send it to their customer. The other piece in this toolbox is LawPay. So now LawPay works with QuickBooks, and, and yes, QuickBooks has its own merchant service services um, section. I used to always use it, and LawPay is the replacement for that for your trust and IOLTA accounts because it's the only credit card processing company that accepts payments with in compliance with the ABA and the IOLTA guidelines, and all the other ones don't do that, even into it. And the best part of this is you can set this program up to work very similarly with as Intuit does with their automated invoicing. There's a little catch. You have a one more step, but to stay compliant, it's worth the one more step. And also, it saves you a ton of money because the rates are lower than what Intuit will give you for your um, credit card processing. So you can use both. Um, you could use Intuit's for charges that aren't matter um, that aren't related to trust accounts or IELTA accounts. You can use them for like straight up billing. Uh, for legal services, but if it's something to do with the matter or anything to do with those two bank accounts that are you have to be very compliant and strict about making sure that the details are exact, then I would suggest using LawPay. And if LawPay's got a lesser fee attached to it, a lesser processing fee, then why not use LawPay for everything? Um, I also recommend Intuit Full Service Payroll. The payroll is built into the system. Highly recommend it. It's very easy to use, easy to set up. Especially if you work through my team, I have, a, I have an amazing, I call it my superstar team that helped me set up my, um, my payroll. So that is my basic steps of my workflow. And now I'm going to take you over and show you and demonstrate to you what that's like. So here we are in Lysio. And Lysio is um, a beautiful, clean, simple app, which, is I really, which I really like about it. It's got places in here for your accounts. Those are your customers, right? For me, my customers. So any law firms that I work with will be housed in here and is accounts. And I'm not going to show you because I've got my account set up in here, but you can see here that this is where your clients would be, would be stored. Um, contacts, all your email contacts would come in here. And I was real careful about pulling in just my contacts from my 
my um, staff and with my uh, actual business people that I work with. Tasks, we're gonna be able to generate the tasks for your staff to work on the jobs for the clients. Um, and then the home homepage, pretty simple. Um, it'll show your tasks and things you need to do and your inbox is all on that as well. So a very simple, clean page. I just wanna give you a little short picture of it. I will give you a link to an eye-opening webinar we attended on Friday with Gina's SBAA. It was really informative about how, especially it's specifically talked about law firms and how even the, especially the smaller ones that I work, I tend to work with the you know solopreneur or the maybe the solo plus one. Those clients end up having more ex chance of having themselves be exposed to maybe someone stealing identities and hacking. So this is really important because they deal with sensitive information as do we as accountant, as do I as an accountant. We do work a lot with sensitive data. We have you know employees being onboarded and W fours being emailed and. This is a better place, a safer place to exchange that data where you don't have to worry about it ever having it being exposed and having someone steal that information. So I'm gonna take you over to QuickBooks now. So in QuickBooks, here's my law firm account and I'm going to, um, I've got all my matters and things set up in here. You can see my matters and my customers. So I'm gonna come over to HubDoc and I've connected my HubDoc, which is my place to exchange documents. So if you work, I work with even larger firms than just the plus two ones. So um, this would be one where if I'm working hand in hand doing the accounting piece, working with the admin in the law firm, he or she would be uploading these documents to HubDoc for me so that I can code them and bring them across. So I'm gonna take you to a document that I've uploaded to my desktop. So here's a document, this is a bill for courtroom services for um, a, a matter that we have already in the books and that law firm account and it is Williamson versus Sanders and it's for matter 18. So I'm going to upload this particular document to HubDoc. So I'm logged into the account for this law firm. I'm going to add the receipt. This is how simple HubDoc is and it's very easy for the companies to use. So you can do one big scan of all your bills if you went to open the mail and you just open a pile of mail and you just want to throw it in the scanner and pile it all in and then you can put, do a multiple item uh, pull in so that way you can set it'll separate all the pages for you and pull it all in at once so You have to upload them as separate transactions, which I love that's kind of a new feature I'm um, with the single item. So I'm just going to grab that document um, This is the invoice. I'm going to drag and drop. That's how easy it was to bring that file in So now we're going to come over to the file I'm going to click over here and I see that I already picked up my vendor courtroom services It already as soon as I put it in this is how fast HubDump works Their um, coding works this quickly um, it's an unpaid bill. Now I'm going to click configure. So I never want to click auto sync with this. Auto sync would be automatically when the bill get, gets put in, like as you can actually have these bill e bills emailed directly to HubDoc with your special HubDoc address. And then it will, you can avoid it even coming into your inbox at all. But um, in this case, you never want to do auto sync because you always want to want to put the matter in there. And I like to control it in HubDoc at the HubDoc level. So I'm going to publish this as a bill. I'm gonna pick my vendor, which is gonna be courtroom services. And I'm going to pick the account. And the account is gonna be advanced, advanced client costs. I don't need a class. And in the description, I'm just gonna write um, transcription for matter number, number 18, Williamson versus Sanders. And then, then I just stick that there. So now this is already put in. Now I need to pick the matter up and the matter is gonna be matter 18, which I know because it says right on there matter 18. And I'm gonna hit publish. So now this is publishing this bill to HubDoc. Automatically, it's in, it's published. And then what I like to do in HubDoc, if you're listening, please start to make an enter stamp for us. So what I do is now that I put that in, I put a hit paid and that puts a ribbon on it so I know that that bill's been paid. So as I go through the list, I always put the paid. Even after I've reconciled the bank account, I'll put paid. So that way it's in there. So I'm gonna come back over to Hub uh, to QuickBooks and you can see the last thing that was entered was this bill. And there it is, courtroom services, Williamson Matter, it's already in there. Now we're gonna switch over to Lean Law and now I'm in Lean Law, I'm in the law firm account. So let's go over to expenses and see 
if that expense has been pulled in out of QuickBooks. So there's a two-way sync. So now it's going from HubDoc to QuickBooks, QuickBooks to, uh, to Lean Law. So there's a, a nice little loop there. And here's my, um, my transaction, right? It came, it's in Lean Law now. It's for Ab Abram Williams, matter 18, courtroom reporting for this matter. And there's my little $125.79. So there it is. Um, it's in inside the program. So now if I wanted to bill uh, Mr. Williams, I can create a draft invoice just for him. And I select both because you can see that the, the expenses are here. I create the draft invoice and this is going to create a draft. You can delete it if it doesn't work out for you. And now I have a draft of this invoice. Now if I come over to drafts, let's take a look at it. Now you can see here, here's my draft invoice. I had a phone call for him and I had a court reporter from the case that we have. So there's the two items here. I'm gonna approve and submit this. And it says submit invoice to QuickBooks. I say yes. This is how wonderfully smooth and automated this system is. Now I'm gonna come back over to QuickBooks and just check to see if that invoice is now in QuickBooks because now I've invoiced my client, right? So I'm gonna invoice out of my QuickBooks. I'm gonna receive my payment. Here it is, I've invoiced this client. You can see the billable expenses here. The total bill is $350.79. Everything worked beautifully. So how wonderful is that? Now, if I want to receive my payment, that last piece would be law pay. Now, I don't actually have this trial company set up to law pay, but I'm just going to take you over to that window. So it's a pretty cool uh, system, and I have links into, into my blog post about this. It looks like Cinda's joining me now. So um, it's got great features. You can accept the payments. You can integrate the payments. So it's very simple to have the custom pages. I really liked, we, we had a demo with this um, gentleman and I really liked how simple the product is to use. And the integration's pretty neat. It, you can put it right on your default template so that the client can, um, once you send the invoice, they can log right into this page and click the link and get, get to this page and pay their bill. So it was really simple, but the best part is the compliance piece, right? And you can do recurring billings with it. Um, client signatures. It's, it's just got so much And the best other piece of this is the pricing. The pricing is way below what you would pay with into it. So that part alone and the compliance piece really important. So remembering that is is key when you get to this. This is designed specifically for working with law firms and attorneys. So that is it in a nutshell. That is my workflow. I hope that was really helpful. I know it was a really quick overview, but I try to keep the video short. Um, but if you're interested in learning more about this or maybe hiring um, artists on bookkeeping to do your, your work with, um, if you're a law firm and you're looking for help with your accounting needs, please reach out. So thank you for watching. I'd love to hear any feedback and um, we'll see you next week. Bye now.